I've said this publicly a few times. He's coming off the bench for us right now. Who knows who will start Sunday, but there's been a lot of practices where he's the best guard on the floor. A lot of practices where Silas is the best guard on the floor. A lot of practices where Blue, you know, um, Savo didn't get opportunity tonight, but he's a really talented guard. Tyron Lawrence was fantastic in our last game, and I'm probably forgetting a guard or two. And Dylan James can play in the backcourt and developing, emerging, you know, our most versatile guy. But um, it's nice to see Dakota get it going. Um, that's what he's capable of. He actually had a couple other opportunities where he was in the paint, and I thought he got a little bit too unselfish. I thought we took one selfish one early in the game up the right sideline in front of their bench. And out, outside of that, I liked our shot selection a lot. Um, but I thought Dakota, you know, uh, got a little bit passive there a couple times. He's just such an unselfish guy, um, but he's a he's a very talented scorer and, and passer. Can you put your finger on why the other guards struggled a little bit? A credit Tennessee Tech. I thought Coach Pelfrey did a great job. Um, their tempo offensively, just the, the overall tempo over the game, they looked really quick and fast. And, you know, you, you go back as a coach and you, and you think about everything you've done the last 72 hours in, in preparation. We just looked a little bit slower to the ball than those guys did. We struggled to contain them. Um, they pressured us into some, a few ill-advised um, decisions. We did have some interior looks that just rolled around the rim and didn't go. We had some open looks early from three that didn't go. And then all of a sudden you're dealing with a team that's, um, you know, an inferior opponent that's playing with nothing to lose, that's playing, that's making shots and playing with confidence. And I thought, you know, that Tennessee Tech could have won that game. And they um, they play that well, you know, in conference play. They're going to have a good year. But uh, their ability to, to isolate us, we had to get to a point where we, we um, they're, they're really exploiting our ball screen coverage. And um, we got to where we did a lot of switching down the stretch. And then, um, you know, in isolations, they just they just made some big shots off the bounce, and some of those possessions we did a pretty good job. But good offense always beats good defense. I was going to ask you, they made some pretty crazy shots at times from three, but just they did. From a perimeter defensive standpoint, how do you think you guys did tonight? Not great, not great. But again, I was really impressed with their speed. I mean, they just we struggled to stay in front of the ball. Uh, not only the the contested jump shots, particularly the threes off the bounce that were heavily contested, some of them, but also their ability to put their head down and get in the paint and finish, and some of them were in ones. Um, they were good. They were really good tonight. We've been a lot better than that defensively, a lot of practices and in, in our exhibitions, of course, but I thought Tennessee Tech had a lot to do with that. Asa tied a program record previously held by Dominique. Yeah. Leads the team in rebounds. Just when he comes in here and talks about, you know, needing to be better, what does that say yeah. about the maturity the, that he has and uh, what did you make of his game? He he's a winning player. He just he's he's about the right stuff. Um, he'll be in the gym tomorrow morning getting shots up on on his own. You know he'll be the day off tomorrow. He'll be begging the GAs to get in the gym to work him out. That's just who he is. In the summer he had to kick him out of the gym. You know hey you need some rest. Um, he understands it. He gets it. He he knows that we weren't at our best defensively. Uh, and he'll put some of that on himself, um, although he was fantastic. You know, there, there, I don't think there were as many defensive miscues with him as um, as there as there were across the board, generally speaking. Um, but six offensive rebounds in passing lanes defensively, altering shots at the rim. He's um, he's mature beyond his years. He's an accountable player. He's got high basketball character. How many uh, records do you think he's going to break before he's done this? Oh, my goodness. Um, I hope he, hope he breaks a few. It's, uh, it's pretty cool just to be in the same sentence as Dominique Wilkins, right? Pretty cool. What's it say that uh, the UCF team you just beat the other night, uh, like you did, yeah. knocks off Texas A&M? Yeah. Time, and you guys struggle like you did with Tennessee Tech. Yeah. It's college it's basketball. basketball baby. College basketball. You said it, right? It's, it's yeah. wild. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but I heard there was another. North Carolina. Yeah, just another um, odd one in our league, and I'm sure South Carolina bounces back and has a great year. And but anything can happen, you know. Anything can happen. A couple of those 
late that they shoot go and we miss a couple more free throws. Who knows what happens down the stretch. But I did like our poise down the stretch. Um, with the portal these days, uh, there's always been surprises. It's, it's why it's the, it's the greatest game on the planet you know, to watch. But even more so these days with the, the current landscape of college basketball. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No comment. I'm not because if I start I'm going in. I'm not I'm just I'm not I haven't done it for a long time and I'm just I don't want to start. Coach, sixteen offensive rebounds tonight. How important is that for this team, especially when you look back at previous teams uh, that you've had here? Yeah, and we talked about that, right? Uh, in the in the spring, more so after our class was complete, summer, fall, where we talked about, you know, what what do you expect with this team, with this roster? And I would have been shocked if, if we're not significantly better defending the glass, um, defending uh, the, the, the paint, you know, blocking and altering shots, and then obviously on the offensive glass, and, and also just getting easy ones. I mean, the, how many times do uh, these last couple times you guys have seen us where we're just in the paint and we get our hands on whether it's a loose ball or a dump off or a lob, but we just Ace has just got an ability to make things look easy. Samto does too. Uh, Justin Abson, uh, RJ Godfrey. You know he normally, collectively those four normally, along with Dylan, I think finish it better. But um, again, give Tennessee Tech credit. I thought they had really physical wall ups. Uh, they were smaller than us, but they played just as big. He had a couple tough ones there and um, wasn't his best night. But I do think he, he collected himself and played with some poise and some maturity down the stretch defensively and then against that, that, that pressure. You know, we made sound enough plays to get to the line and finish the game. Up Ooh, transition defense, defending the three. Um, this team also has got a ways to go. It's, it's easy when you're at Charlotte and you're up big late, and there's no game pressure on you. And the thing's falling, and we're getting tip dunks and what have you. And you place Central Florida, who we all knew was, was a lot better than that. We probably weren't that good. You know, hope to be that good you know, in a couple months. But when you're up 15 or you're up 30, um, it's a lot different than when you're four minutes left and you're up four points or what have you. And there's game pressure on you, and you have all of these new guys and Ace is not a guy, um, at least going into today's game, where we say, hey, let's play through him a lot. He went and got 26 and 11 off, off motor and talent and work ethic. And uh, now it's equal opportunity, a lot of stuff we were doing today. But um, that's another area where we've got to grow uh, and, and learn like who we are, um, who's getting the ball in what spots at what time. <coughs> of the game and, and how we're going to execute and what we can really hang our hat on. So we, we'll be able to learn a lot from this game. Is it hard to get Sompto minutes when you have the other front court guys? Yeah, I mean, Sompto's one of the most talented guys I've coached, I mean, especially in the front court. And he's going to have some monster games for us. They just spread us out. You know, they played the one conventional big, uh, Craig, two minutes. So for 38 minutes, they played five guys that can face you, drive you, pass it, shoot the three. Now, I know one of those guys doesn't shoot the three great, but they had four or five three-point shooters on the court for 38 minutes. And um, to have young bigs out there on the perimeter doing stuff that they don't do every day in practice, because that's not who they're defending, it's just it's hard. Um, but he'll learn from it, and, and we'll all learn from it. What, what did you make of R.J. Godfrey tonight? Had a double-double, but it felt like it was kind of a quiet double-double. Yeah, that's who he is, right? And he had a couple chippies right there at the rim that went halfway down and came back. He could have had a, a prettier line, right? But um, he doesn't take plays off. I've said it for a long time. I love coaching a man. He's he's efficient. He's um, he's about the right stuff. Um, had some physical wall ups. Was pretty good in, in transition defense compared to the rest of us. Um, yeah, he's just he's not a guy that makes a lot of mistakes offensively, defensively. He's hard to block out. Uh, he's a blockout guy defensively. Uh, when we were in switching late in the game, he kept those guards in front of him. He just did. He's good at a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, um, I love where we're at in terms of culture and, and connection and chemistry, but tonight, um, you know, we we struggled, and 
how we respond to our struggles tonight will be telling moving forward um, in terms of, of how connected we really are. It's easy to be connected when you're up 30. You know, it's easy to be connected when you hadn't played an exhibition and everybody's scoring in practice. And we've got a bunch of really, really good guys too. And so uh, we're off tomorrow and we come back Wednesday, we'll learn a lot about, you know, who, um, who we are in terms of our approach to practice. And I'll be shocked if, um, if we don't have a really good one. These, this is probably the best practice team I've coached and they love to compete and these guys, um, they work. So I'm ready to get back to Coach, work myself. Yep. 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 How did he affect the floor in other ways other than the shooting? Um, I thought he played within himself. Um, he he's 0 for five. He had pretty good looks, but uh, sometimes you're 0 for five and you're a really good shooter that turns into 0 for seven because you take a couple crazy ones because you you know put pressure on yourself. And he didn't do that. Um, we got we got backdoored a few times, uh, our guards collectively, and, uh, and and he was part of that. And we'll have to learn from that, of course. Didn't stand from the front of the basketball, uh, containing the bounce quite as well as we need to moving forward. But uh, he's, a, he's a sophomore. He understands our system. And um, he's going to have some really big games for us this year.